It's Monday morning in beautiful Albuquerque. And it's time to do a little DIY fix on the car. I don't ever do DIY stuff, so this is a, a big anomaly. So the first thing you need to do is release this ratchet strap. Babe, seriously, come away from there. Which is holding this onto the uh, mirror. Ratchet straps are like God's gift to mankind. I love them, but I always forget how to use them. Good enough. And the important thing about this is uh, I need to clean it first before I put the glue on. So we've got some uh, 3M yellow super weather strip and gasket adhesive. I'm gonna apply liberally, especially to the clips. I'm gonna try not to breathe this glue as well because I'm pretty sure it kills brain cells. We've got a little, a lot of glue in here. Now I'm just applying pressure, probably for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. I'm totally not a do-it-yourselfer. I would prefer generally to pay somebody to do it for me. But in this case, I imagine that replacing this piece would be expensive. If I were to replace the plastic piece that broke, it'd probably be way more than I think it's worth. So instead I just bought a bunch of really toxic glue and did it myself. I had a dream last night, I guess you could call it a nightmare, that I was back in PEI and it was cold enough there was ice on the ground and I was wearing a winter coat. I woke up. I think the reason I had that dream was because somebody emailed me right before I went to bed saying that it was minus 20 degrees in PEI. I think the biggest thing actually that, that bugs me about living in, in a cold place in Canada for a good portion of the year is that it's just cloudy a lot. Albuquerque is sunny, has been sunny, at least partly sunny every single day we've been here. Even when the forecast says it's going to be cloudy, it's still sunny. The other thing I never really noticed before that I really miss, or I've missed since I've lived in Canada, is leaves. I always took leaves for granted. Didn't really miss them too much in the winter. They were only gone for a few months. In Prince Edward Island, the leaves are gone for at least six months of the year. And it really wears on you. By about month four of no leaves, you just really want to see some leaves. So now I notice, like, whenever I'm anywhere, I'm always noticing the state of the leaves. You know, are there buds out? How long are those buds gonna be there until the leaves come out? Oh, might have leaved some leaves today. I'm turning into one of those people, that, a leaf person. All right, I think I did it. I guess we'll find out in a few months when it comes off again. This never fails to freak me out. When I go back to the back of the car, I see this. Like out of the corner of my eye and I always think it's a real person. Just sleeping in the back of the car. Speaking of leaves, I've been watching the buds on this tree and today they are just starting to pop out. Look at all those buds. I love leaves. Home is a place in my mind. I think about it now. I cannot find home is a place I left behind. I left it by choice. I cannot find my own. So look guys, this side here. Okay, go ahead, yeah. Does anybody know what face this is? What is that? What else is this circle?
It's Minecraft night. Monday night. Minecraft is every other night. And we get half an hour to play. So I'm getting ready to play getting ready to play my world, Daddy World. So do I go down now to the skeletons and see if I can kill the skeletons? See if I can kill the skeletons. I'll put a cobblestone block in my hand here to protect myself. But let's go down and let's see what we see. I dug down into a cave and some skeletons were in here and they killed me. And I imagine they're still in here. <laughs> oh wait, I'm down to like no food. Let's uh let's eat something really quick. Eat some chicken. I, this is my bedroom and now the bed is gone. Um, but I have my mine. Here's a mountain. There's a scary looking thing walking along over there. And there's some lava. I have a lava waterfall here. And there's a skeleton down there coming up. Oh, he shot me. Oh, crap. He's up here. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go kill some animals. Or else I'm gonna run out of food. Yep, and kill some cows. And kill some bunny rabbits. 